That day in middle school when the hairdresser got Melanie Taylor's do all wrong, she was done. She didn't look nothing like the picture and nothing. I literally went home and started cutting in my own hair. But what would come down the road for the future entrepreneur would cut her to the core. I got pregnant with my daughter very young. I got pregnant with her when I was 19. And at that point, that was the dark time for me. It got darker, pregnant, unwed, high school graduate, licensed cosmetologist, and in an abusive relationship, she was not strong enough to leave. I can remember scratching my back. And you know you scratch your back, sometimes your shirt goes up. And I can remember him punching me in my back, saying that I was trying to show my back. That wasn't the worst part. At almost five months along, a confrontation that could have killed her and her unborn baby. We started fighting, like he literally, he started choking me. I don't even remember what I hit him with. I don't know if it was the phone or something, but I ended up hitting him with something. I ended up running out of the room. Time passes, they lose touch. He's in jail, she's eight months pregnant by now, and to her surprise, on her way to jail too because of her ties to him. And I didn't know if I was going to you know, be in jail having my daughter or she was going to get taken away from me. I, I didn't know. Did not know who to turn to either. Those Titus two women in the Bible, nowhere to be found. People I feel like the older generation, they don't help us out is because they never tell their story truthfully. They make it seem like they never did anything wrong. They've never, they've never been in the club, they've never been to jail, they've never been pregnant, they've never been in this and that, and it's killing us. Because if you would've just said to me, you know what, Mel, I've been there before, it would've helped me get through it. She got through it all nonetheless. Where I am now makes no sense, and I know it was God. And I, now I can say for myself, I know him for myself. She was able to build her brand and her businesses every step of the way, first her own salon, then this 7,500 square foot facility called Stepping Stone to incubate the dreams of others into reality. Somebody gave me a chance and because they gave me that chance, I'm able to do what I do now. And that's all I wanna do is give somebody else a chance. I am Melanie Taylor. I am Black Girl Magic. I am Jeremiah 2911. This has been another special edition of TBC News for Women's History Month. Thank you so much for worshiping with us at the historic Tabernacle Baptist Church, the most impactful place on the planet.